Hello, my wonderful people. Calvary greetings to you all. How are you doing? Happy Valentine. Happy New Week. Happy everything. Happiness. All of the above. I greet you all. Calvary greetings to you all, my wonderful people. This video is just a prompt one. It's just a quick one. Before I dash out to work, I just want to, you know, re raise it as it comes to my mind. You know, this week, uh, my country... My dearest people, they are going to the pool. They are going to decide their new president. Just like every other country do. There is always a change of tenor. But in this one, I have it as a burden in my heart to pray for my people. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs 29 verse 2, that when a righteous man is in authority, that people rejoices. Likewise, when a wicked one, when the unrighteous is in authority, people will mourn. Praise God. I just want two people, you know, I want to join faith with those of you down there in Nigeria. I want to pray with you people, even as I have been doing getting as this erection is getting closer i want to pray that the god by his mercy will himself put the right person in that asolok i pray that jehovah will direct the affairs of nigeria i pray that the mighty god will bring out a leader that have the heart of his people a leader that will help to alleviate poverty out of the life of people a leader that will pull out youths out of the street i am a mother it pains me and it disturbs me to see how our youths are suffering out there the youths of my country are on the street living their life that they never thought they will live. It grieved my heart. You all know that I have a charity organization. At the beginning, I made it a, an organization that we care for only widows. But believe you hear me, we are not dealing with only widows again. You will see young, able men and women that are supposed to be in a working class, you will see them doing nothing because of bad governance. No work, nothing is moving on. My people are suffering. My people are suffering. You will see young men graduating from school, no work for them. You will see young women Carrying little children, nothing to do, no business, no work. Likewise, their husband, nothing. And the poor innocent children are suffering. My brethren, after seeing all these things, I don't have peace of mind here in Europe. Everything is okay with me. I have everything I want. But yet, I am a kind of person that the suffering of others disturbs me more than. Could you believe me that I hardly enter social medias again? Because once I enter, people will start calling. People will start writing. People will start bleeding, begging for help. All this boy down to bad governance. I pray that the Lord will show mercy to my people. I pray for his intervention. Saturday, the 25th of February, Nigerians are going to the pool. I pray that the Spirit of God will lead, will direct, and supervise all that will be taking place in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God institute the righteous person that will alleviate this pain, that will put a stop to what my people are going through. I sympathize with all Nigerians. 
those down there suffering. I know that in Nigeria, some people are living big. Some people are making it. But majority of people that are suffering, oh my God, they are more than 90% of the population. My people are suffering. I can't help everybody. Okay, this year, I've made it. I made it up in my mind. At least, at least, I will pull out 10, not less than 10 youths out of the street, establishing them with one or two things to begin life with. But you see, my hands cannot reach everybody. I can reach everybody. But if God intervenes, a righteous man will go in there and remember the suffering youths. Because when you, let, when you establish a youth, he or she will end and remember his or her aged parents and care for them. Our women are dying in hunger. Our old women are dying in hunger. Our old men are dying in hunger. Our youths are on the streets eating shit, doing all sorts of things that they never imagined they would do. Let me tell you, not all those on the street misbehaving are bad children. They are not escape goods of the family. But situation and things put them into such a life they are living. Believe you me. They never grew up to decide to be useless in life. They are never useless. Put things in place for them and you will see them great giants. Put things in place for them and you will see their wonderful destinies frozen up. But if there is nothing, for them to lay hands on. What do you expect them to do? The Bible says when the foundation is corrupt. What can the righteous do? Our government needs to do something. And only a rightful man. That has the mind of God. That has the mind of Christ. That can. That can understand the suffering of the youth. The suffering of his people. Only that person is, will be a solution to what is going on in our country. The rich are getting richer. Why the poor are getting poorer every day. Dying, starving. Only God can solve this situation in my country. Right now, currently, as it is. But I pray that Jehovah we lead and direct in this election. And I implore you, I encourage you, my wonderful people, anyone that will come across this video, please go out there and vote. Go out there, cast your vote without fear or favor. Go out there, cast your vote. I am not in support of, of any political parties, but I tell you that civil obedience is encouraged. The Bible encouraged us to be obedient to the authorities. Civil obedience is, en is allowed. So, go out there. Cast your vote wisely. Pray as I am joining faith with you people that Jehovah will put his own person, any of the candidates that he knew that this person we wipe away the tears of people, the suffering of people. Let God put such a person so that my people will rejoice again. In the Bible days, God sent people to anoint kings, leaders over his people. Now, God cannot come down from heaven to appoint who, who will be in authority. It is me and you. The power of voting has been given to me and you. So please go out there, cast your vote, believe in God for a better Nigeria for tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for all the voters as you go out there, no evil will be for you. This election, will be, I declare it will be smooth and fair. There shall be no, you know, sign or rumor of casualties. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will lead you, we guide your footsteps, we protect you, we go out there and cast your vote, and nothing will harm you, nothing will 
no evil will be for you in the name of Jesus. And I equally pray as well. Anyone that would arise to terrorize people on that day, anyone that would arise to bring disorder on that day, may the cries of people, the sufferings of people, pin that person down. That that person will not wake up from his sleeping bed on that day. Till after that election. The suffering of my people is too much. And the God needed one person to bring a change. All we need to do is to go out there and cast our vote. And leave the rest for Jehovah to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Stay away from election violence. Stay away from destruction. Distracting people. Stay away from evil. Don't allow yourself to be used to punish people the more. To bring suffering. Crying the more to people. Look at our, our children. They are suffering. Some of them. A report getting to me that a girl of seven years, a, a girl of nine years have not even entered primary one because the parents cannot afford. Which one will I do and leave the rest? Must I can do all. I can do all. My people, if you have a heart of charity, of helping people, in fact, you will not have rest anywhere you are because the way news of suffering of people will be flowing to you. In fact, you will be you, you will be mentally destabilized. People are really suffering. But I pray that the Jehovah will bring a U-turn, a good turn around, a positive turn around to my people that we all will rejoice. As I'm rejoicing, as I'm happily here, living, staying here in another man's country, I pray that people in my country will as well enjoy such a freedom, enjoy such a liberty, enjoy such a good life. And as we are believing God for such a good turn, may the Lord Almighty have his way in our lives. In the name of Jesus, go out there, cast your vote. Without fear of evil, you are protected. No evil will befall you. Nothing will harm you. Angels of God will walk around you. We guide you or guard all the pulling units. No evil. There shall be no violence. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am with you people in prayers. And I know that my Jehovah will perfect all that concerns the poor ones. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, my wonderful people. If you are new to my channel, I am the Connect You see, I do drop words of encouragement, soul lifting words, you know, talking to people that are downcasted. My channel is also known for helping people. Yes, reaching out to the less privileged. Food for the body and also for the spirit. Hallelujah. May the Lord Almighty bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you. May he show you mercy. May he lead you. May he direct you. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. See you next time.